Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. After oof, my eye bags look a little big and a little expensive at this point. But um, tonight is my night off after wrapping up my last night of the orientation last night, which was pretty good. Tonight is my night off. I would have preferred to work tonight um, because I feel like I had a streak going, but I'm also learning to take some things as a win. So I'm definitely taking tonight being my night off as a win and I'm relaxing. I'm about to um, get my hair sorted out. I look like a lion right now and that is not the move, but I'm gonna get that sorted out. But for the most part today, I've really just been relaxing all day long. I don't know if I should say relaxing because one, I've had the absolute worst headache that I can't get rid of. But I've also not taken any Tylenol or any Excedrin like I normally would because I'm trying to see if it'll subside naturally. Right now it's not that bad to be completely honest, but I still feel that it's like there. It's just lingering in the background, you know? I haven't really made anything. I think I'm gonna um, cook something tonight. Maybe I'll use the microwave to like defrost some chicken because there's rice in the fridge. It's 7.36 and I had an alarm set to go to the pharmacy to pick up a prescription from my doctor. But um, I slept through the all. So that's gonna have to be a tomorrow thing. And I really had it all planned out that I was gonna wake up. So the plan was that I was gonna wake up and go for a walk. I think I had it for 5 p.m. Go for a walk in the direction of the Walgreens so I could pick up my prescription and then that could be a nice little walk. This morning I also walked for the first time in a very long time. Um, so that was nice because it wasn't too hot this morning. But that didn't really work out as planned. And the one thing I'm sure about is we're supposed to listen to our body. Well, this morning when I came home, I slept for a little bit. I felt like I was still a little bit tired. And so when I went to sleep, I didn't wake up until 6 o'clock. And right now it's 7.38. Or like 7 minutes after 6. And right now it's 7.38. So tonight, I think I'm going to stay up like I would have if I was working. Just to keep the momentum going. Um, because I do work tomorrow night. And from here on out, I'm, you know, going to be consistently working at night. So there's that. We have that. But, um, Yeah gonna fix this here situation it kind of hurts a little bit I already showered but it's so hot I feel a little bit sweaty so after I'm done cooking I'm going to hop in the shower again to pretty much cool my body down for the rest of the evening and um yeah that's really all that's going on I just wanted to pop in say hi to you guys because while I was in and out of sleep for the most part today I did not pick up the camera so here we are but um last night being the last night of the orientation it was pretty good can't complain just like the night before, my preceptor allowed me to work as if I was working on my own in terms of um, I went around without her and I started doing the vitals and then um, the blood work came shortly after and most of the blood work I did, except for two, the two people were very hard sticks and one of them I was not being unconventional, which is what I realized that I'm going to have to do more in terms of like um the phlebotomy aspect of my job be a little bit more unconventional where you know the parts that are a little bit more risky you know if i can see it just to take it because so far that's what i've seen but um you know you have to creep before you can walk and i'm pretty sure that i'm going to get to that point where naturally i'm going for it but for right now i'm really really playing it safe so that's where we're at where it concerns that and on um, the two sticks that were hard um i either gave it to her or we literally called the nurse and let her know that we weren't able to get it so um it was pretty good honestly i feel like i'm gonna be able to manage just fine on any one of the shifts so there's that tomorrow when i go to the walgreens to pick up my prescription i think i might end up popping by the grocery store to just get a little touch of items in terms of like um fruits and stuff like that that i can take to work when i go to the walgreens i'm gonna buy some chips because the walgreens always has my favorite chips and they always have them on sale this morning i did go in there when I left to work, but I was there at around 7.30 and the Walgreens does not open until, the pharmacy does not open until 9 and I'm like, I can't stand out here and I know I'm not going to come back for 9 o'clock because I'm going to go sleep. My mom used to always say, um, men plan and God laughs or wipes. So, which essentially means that we make plans for ourselves and God has other plans for us, which obviously we see how that turned out because my plan was to do this and that and whatever. And the plan that God had for me was for me to sleep. And we definitely did that, so now here we are. But um, I'm going to do all that I said I was going to do. And I'm going to defrost this chicken in the microwave so I can quickly make something. And um, because, you know, chicken cooks quickly. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, it's later. 
I just came out of the shower, exfoliated my skin, and oh my gosh, it's all so soft and feels, even my face, and feels so good. Everything is nice and clean. Love that for me. Um, I told you guys in the previous clip that I'm going to like sort out my hair and everything. So right now, I have it wrapped up. I just got in the mail um, birth control because, you know, don't want to be having kids until you're ready or until God feels like he's ready for you to have children because honestly, like I said before, men plan and God laughs or God wipes. And if I know nothing for sure, the universe has a funny sense of humor. You can be doing all this planning for your life and the universe decides that. Psych. However, you got a plan. You always have a plan. So, my plan is a three month supply of birth control at all times and I have a spare pack inside of my bathroom. So yeah. And then I also got this one thing from Amazon for like $3 or two. This is a um, knife sharpener. Because the knives that I have in my kitchen I've had for a while, but um, I realized that some of them are not too sharp anymore. And I don't have that block of like knives where it comes with a sharpener. So I have to buy this one. Is this to cover it or am I tripping? Look at me, I'm tripping. So we have a knife sharpener. It's from Kitchen IQ. I'm gonna link it in my Amazon storefront down below so if you guys wanna get one, then you can. Like I said, it was for a few dollars, maybe less than five. Definitely need that. And this is what it looks like. So you have two parts to... Oh, you have coarse and fine. So we're gonna put this in the utensil drawer. And um, I'm done cooking. So for the most part, um, I'm gonna relax. It's 9.33. I don't really feel for anything, but I think I probably should eat something because the last thing I had was breakfast at about 12 o'clock and it's 9.30 right now. And I haven't eaten anything else yet and I feel like the massive headache that I'm walking around with isn't subsiding on its own. So my body is probably trying to tell me, listen girl, you need to eat something. So we're gonna do that and um, yeah. I will insert like a little clip of the food on the screen if I remember. If not, it's just basic stew chicken and white rice, honestly. It's nothing, you guys are not missing anything. But um, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching as usual. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the content lately. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I will put these away. Dancing, dancing,